Hi, now we will look into the details how to make a schematics more readable using hierarchical design. Okay, here is a schematics which doesn't look very neat and tidy. It's not very uh, complex. We have a microcontroller in the middle. We have some analog parts here. Actually, we have two identical amplifiers. We have some analog inputs. We have power supply, linear uh, regulators. We have a, a communication part. So all that is um, placed on the same sheet. So it doesn't uh, seem very readable. Also because uh, the designer is using uh, uh, nets as a connection um, definitions. So no lines are used for connection, which actually makes it less readable and more um, susceptible to mistakes. So yeah, uh, that already, even though it's not very complex, should be already made in a hierarchical manner. So now I will show you how to do that. I already have schematics, so it's much easier. And this is how we call a bottom-up approach because the schematics is already done. We just have to now uh, identify the blocks and make them. Okay, I will start with this analog circuit here, this amplifier. As you can see, it's even not turned correctly because the input should be on the left and the output on the right if we want to follow some uh, guidelines. Okay. I will make a new schematics and I will save it as um, amplifier or some kind or uh, yeah analog amplifiers okay okay so here I will now copy one of these two amplifiers because the other one is identical so I will cut it ctrl x and I will paste it ctrl v if you want to um, keep the designators, you have to use smart paste um, because here you see that uh, all the designators are reset. Using smart paste is Ctrl Shift V and pre pressing OK, you will get the designator uh, as they were. Maybe this is a good idea, so I will use it that way and I will, ha I will not have to rename the components later. I would also like to mirror uh, on, uh, on the x-axis like that so that the input is on the left and the output on the right. Okay, what should I do next? These schematics now would completely work the same way as before because all the nets are already connected to the nets in the main schematics here. So, um, but now I will delete that one because I don't need it. I already made it once. I will just reuse it again. Okay, here again in the amplifier schematics, I can leave the nets of power supply and ground intact because this is what we usually do even if we have a multi-chain channel design. But this input and this output, I would rather delete it and use instead of the nets, I will use ports. So I will place one port now and I will name it input. And I will select its type to be input Okay, press placing here, pressing tab, output, it would be now eotype output and placing it here. Now I selected the input and output ports, I placed them in. So now the ports are defined, no other inputs and outputs on this schematics are necessary. Now I will go to the original schematics here and I will place the sheet uh, here. So I will use design create sheet symbol from sheet. Okay. I will select the sheet. The only sheet I have now is amplifier. Okay. And this is the sheet symbol. Placing it. It has one input. It has one output. I, I can make it smaller. I can do whatever I want with it to fit my needs. And I can of course use two of those. I will just copy it by using shift and drag. And now I have two instances and I can make as many as I want. And I will take this uh, input now here. Uh, I could also use wires to connect them, but actually I will just use this input directly as before. So in by placing the nets. 
okay I connected the input and I can also connect the output if I want but for this purpose I don't think it's necessary just to for demonstration okay now I have two instances of this sheet let me go back to this amplifier how can, can I get there uh, directly from the sheet by pressing control and double click and I will be redirected direct, directly to the sheet now I have to validate the project because um, you will quickly see that because I have two of the blocks here I need two instances of each circuit and validating the project will do that so now you also see that the hierarchical structure is seen in the project folder here you have a project tree and the amplifier is below the original uh, document and going to amplifier you will also see I have now two instances of amplifier here down so clicking on one you would see that I have R4U amplifier 1 R4U amplifier 2 okay well um, that name is a little bit awkward because I don't like so long names for designators I can go to project options and change that I can go to multi-channel tab here and here you see the naming convention so the U1 channel 1, U2 channel 1, U1 channel 2 and so on and so on I would rather use another convention and for me I prefer this one component and channel alpha component channel alpha would be just adding a single letter to each channel and selecting that and compiling again I would get quite neat names for the component R4A, R4B and if I had more C, D, E, F and so on okay I already prepared two blocks I would do the same thing with the, this part the other part everything on the schematics and finally I would get this this is the final multi-channel design so what I have I have a microcontroller I also used bus to connect these parts uh, all these blocks to the microcontroller with the nets it's much more neat and of course more readable and these are different blocks I just made from different parts of this uh, schematics and now I see the signal flow quite well and it's much easier now I can also color these blocks if I want I can select different colors and uh, in order to make the schematics even more readable what else um, I showed you the um, top uh, bottom-up approach uh, how would a top-down approach look like in top-down approach I would first define the blocks and then I would uh, define the content of each block so defining a block is by going here and placing sheet symbol first defining its size let's say something like that and then I would place the sheet symbol entries holding the mouse here going to sheet entry and now I would select let's say um, output and I can name it whatever I want so it's not necessary to name it output of course but you can define the type input 1 and its input and maybe I will add another input okay so now I na name the inputs and outputs of the sheet so I can go now to function um, design create sheet from sheet symbol so it's the vice versa now I'm creating now the sheet from this sheet symbol and the sheet is created with the inputs and outputs as I defined them so now I can build a circuit here and connect to these ports well I can also add another port if I want and rename it input 3 for example so what can I do with that well if I need another port I can add it here and when I go to the schematics I have to add it here as well but that would be just a double work so I can click on this sheet uh, symbol here go to sheet symbol actions and choose the synchronize sheet entries and ports function okay now I see that here one uh, port is added and I can actually add it add sheet entries into the final project okay now I can add this one whenever I want okay but what if I don't need it then I can delete it of 
course I can delete it here as well. And again, I can synchronize this sheet uh, symbol with the original sheet. I will go in here, synchronizing sheet enters and ports, and here I, it will immediately warn me, okay, there is another input somewhere. What should I do with it? I can delete it. Close. And going to the original schematics, that port will be deleted. So by that, I can synchronize sheet entries and ports from sheet to uh, sheet symbol or vice versa. At the end, I can make nice and neat schematics with the uh, blocks. Uh, it's a hierarchical design with uh, blocks also can contain their own blocks and so on uh, towards the whole hierarchy. And the uh, components are automatically um, renamed, their designators are renamed according to the uh, block uh, number. Okay, so that's the quick uh, demonstration of the hierarchical design and I suggest and strongly suggest you that you use it because I think that makes 